That's right, I got to drive an all-electric semi-truck by Volvo on a closed course and nobody died. And I only I did it with only 60 seconds worth of training. I'll show you the footage. We'll talk about the, the truck itself. Um, I will also show you part of my interview with the president and CEO of the of Volvo group. We talked about how they feel about, you know, Nikola Motors and Tesla setting up a pretty high bar for this old school industry, right? New kids on the block and, and these are all old dogs. So he gave me an interesting answer. And you know, of course, you everybody compares every single electric car and electric vehicle to Tesla, you know, and rightfully so. Um, now, the only uh, the only company that I know that delivered the semi trucks to their customers is Daimler. They've delivered, uh, you know, what less than a dozen of these babies. They're beautiful, but they have about only 250 mile range. I shouldn't say only, but compared to Tesla semi-truck only 250 mile range uh, and it's been over two years since the Tesla semi-truck was unveiled I believe I'm still the only youtuber who got to sit in inside of the uh, semi-truck that was at uh, on on that day um didn't get to drive it but got to push all the fun buttons and talk to uh, uh, Franz about uh, how things work uh, and so it was fun day now a lot of people still uh, uh, remember this day as the roadster unveiling but of course originally it was a Tesla semi unveiling in it you know that is that truck is also going to uh, the limited production at the end of this year much like the Volvo uh, uh, truck so all right uh, by the way if you want to follow me uh, you know through through all of these amazing events that I get to I get to be one of the first people to drive a lot of these cars and be in a lot of these cars and prototypes so if you're interested in being one of the first people watching me do this uh, obviously just click on the subscribe button if you already have then click on the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward all right so here here i am just the you know chevy Volt driver climbing into this semi truck getting about you know a minute or two worth of training and being able to drive this this is a close uh, course on one of the uh, biggest racetracks in fontana california uh, oh my god this was so much fun to drive and i really really felt pretty good now and the truck uh, actually kind of slows down when it's just about to topple. <laughs> I almost done it a couple of times, but there's a pretty good safety features. It's got a really good regen. Like they, they there are different levels of regen and it's really, really powerful. So I, I kind of felt right at home, you know, after driving all these electric cars and just like, look, because you don't have to switch gears and it drives like pretty much a normal car. It was so much fun. Now we're going to talk about this probably in the next few weeks. I'm going to make a video about, you know, how this is essentially a first step on, you know, take taking the jobs away from the semi truck drivers because these uh, this these trucks are going to be easier and easier to drive and at some point they'll be driving themselves and the truck drivers will have to kind of convert their profession into something different so that's a whole different story um of course now this truck uh, has um let's sprinkle some specs here um they didn't tell us that much but uh the battery consists of four to six uh units uh, 66 uh, kilowatt hour each so together for a six pack six pack um it's almost 400 kilowatt hour battery but only 300 are gonna be used 25 percent is a kind of a really big buffer i don't know why but nevertheless uh they these trucks are going to be going 75 to 175 mile range which is really not that much especially compared to Daimler and definitely tesla but a lot of fleet owners uh and, and managers that i talked to on that event because it was an industry-wide event that volvo put together they weren't really that worried because i said you know these trucks are going to be used for the regional use to deliver uh, goods in, in a certain area or from the port to the uh, to the warehouse and so forth Forth. and those trucks usually go about 100 miles per day with an average load so they weren't really that worried about it uh you know but obviously the range you know will be increasing with time and they have a lot you know ground to cover to catch up to tesla uh these trucks are going to have uh one gear on the front motor two gears on the back motor uh, which will shift at around 15 miles an hour i gotta tell you i did not feel the shift at all uh the pricing is going to be announced closer to the production date which is going to be at the end of this year it is a heavy duty class a truck just in case if you're wondering and uh the top uh, charging rate is going to be 150 kilowatts though most of the chargers they're installing right now is about 50 kilowatts so you know now they did emphasize a lot about you know kind of uh, incorporating these first uh semi trucks that are electric into the fleets that are obviously diesel uh and and you know they, they want to make sure that that makes sense for those who operate these fleets uh kind of carefully and that they're going to be training uh the staff to make sure 
sure they can maintain it. Um, as you can see, these are the pretty much they look exactly like uh, the diesel uh, version of this truck. Just, just, just slowly, slowly implementing though the grill is necessary to cool down the uh, battery. There's a there's a battery temperature management system. Uh, now, uh, okay. Uh, let's switch gears a little bit and talk about you know how whether the 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 you know Volvo Group and and in particular you know whether they're feeling the heat from Tesla and how they feel about Tesla and Nikola setting up you know the sort of the, the the bar for them where they used to be you know they used to setting up this bar before that a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byte and check out their all electric SUV called Ambyte coming to the US and Europe next year I cannot wait I love all this tech that this car has so join myself and dozens and dozens of thousands of other people who already have it takes about a minute of your time absolutely free for now so i would strongly encourage you guys to start uh start uh making the reservations if you haven't already the link is in the description of this video all right so here's my conversation with uh with the uh, uh ceo and president of the volvo group uh, martin uh Lundstedt. so here we go. So I mentioned Tesla and Nikola as, as newcomers mm -hmm. into the industry. Uh, now they're completely newcomers. They've never done this before, uh, but they kind of set the tone because they came out with a couple of their prototypes two or three years ago. Do you think it's a good thing for your industry to have somebody come in outside and kind of think outside of the box and push everybody into this? Or do you think it still will be, you know, you know, Volvo Group and others, Daimler and so forth, that will end up setting the tone because uh, these are the industry veterans? I think it will be a combination, basically. Yeah. So, so first and foremost, we always appreciate, not at least as Volvo, that we have into the DNA very strongly, you know, environmental care, security and safety. So, so we appreciate everyone that would like to, you know, advocate for that type of de development. And there I give, I mean, companies like Tesla and Nikola, I mean, being part of that type of, uh, you know, development, both when it comes to the industry and technology as such, but not at least also the conversation, how do we want to, uh, to form a future transport system? Then as always, let the best, best woman or man win, so to speak, so, so let's see. All right, so this is a pretty vague answer, I gotta tell you. Now, sometimes you guys tell me that, oh, you know, Alex, you interview the CEOs, but you let them get away with all of these vague answers. I gotta tell you, sometimes it's important to ask the question because you know a lot of a lot of people don't even bother asking the question. But you know they obviously understand the pressure is coming from outside of the industry, and you know. But at the same time, listen, I, I'd rather have an attitude that they welcome the competition rather than saying, ah, Tesla doesn't know anything about it. You know, we're 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 definitely gonna figure this out. We're not really worried about. It. So you know, the recognition of the competition is good. Um, I will uh, I will use this interview to show you a different part in my other video that I like I said we're gonna talk about. You know, what's gonna happen to the truck drivers. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that. Now, uh, the the. As the, as the event went on throughout the day, I started realizing that they're not really trying to outdo Tesla with tech. They're trying to make sure that the clientele that they already have, you know, wants to buy from them, regardless of how good Tesla uh, and, and Nikola trucks are, right? Obviously, they've established relationships, but, you know, for... for for you know, buying the semi trucks for the fleets is different than you know you and me buying an electric car. They got this got to make sense to them. They obviously have relationships with this uh, with this fleet, uh, with, with the fleets having relationship with Volvo, and of course the Volvos will still be delivering you know other types of diesel trucks that they're used to. So a lot of times I can see how Tesla and Nikola can lose out on these deals, even though they by far obviously have a better range and so forth, is because of the existing relationships that Volvo has with the fleet managers. Uh, and, and, and fleet operators, you know, and that's just how the world goes around. It will not be easy for Tesla, despite their amazing technology and the superior technology, I think, to win a lot of these customers. Um, now, obviously, Nikola, uh, with Nikola One is going the uh, the hydrogen fuel cell um, um, you know route. I'm not a, I'm not a fan at all. I think it's that technology is 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 not for for passenger cars. But as the Nikola just announced, their Badger, the all electric uh pickup truck uh where the fuel cell uh, is just uh, that technology is being used as a range extender you know i'm kind of coming around it but of course the biggest competition they're going to have is from the tesla uh semi truck um you know we we, we i don't even want to bother comparing the 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 uh, uh the specs tesla is better in pretty much every single way 
But like I said, that relationships that Volvo has, the fact that they're still going to be supplying them with the diesel trucks for for quite some time, um, and the fact that you know a lot of truck drivers, I think, will be very resistant to Tesla coming in because they will probably be the first ones that will put them out of work, right? Be with with a self-driving technology. Um, so this is going to be very interesting year and and the next year as well for all electric semi trucks. This is when this is when things are really starting to happen. I'm excited about. Um, uh, about this and uh, don't forget to follow me through my journeys uh, and 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 through the car shows and media events that I go to uh, see the the pictures as I post them as I'm at the event before I post this videos and of course the behind the scenes follow me on Instagram for that for Instagram stories and of course the pictures in the feed and if you are watching me on YouTube don't forget to subscribe this channel and if you already have then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, I am so I, I'm still I'm still like excited like a kid that I got to drive a I got to drive this uh, a, a, a semi truck. It was such an amazing experience. I actually got to drive it twice. Uh, one time for you guys to tape everything and to understand how everything works. The second time for just kind of personal pleasure, if you will. Uh, so I am looking forward to your comments. Other than that, I will see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.